Baywatch film. Baywatch is a 2017 American action comedy film directed by Seth Gordon and based on the television series of the same name, written by Mark Swift and Damian Shannon. The film stars Dwayne Johnson, Zac Efron, Alexander Daddario, Kelly Rohrbach, John Bass, Ilfanesh Hadera and Priyanka Chopra. Principal photography began on February 22, 2016, in Florida and Savannah, Georgia. The film was released in the United States on May 25, 2017, by Paramount Pictures, and has grossed $80 million worldwide. Plot In Emerald Bay, Florida, LT, Mishbut Shannon and his team of lifeguards including second-in-command Stephanie Holden and veteran C.J. Parker, protect the beaches, and the bay is a part of an elite division known as Baywatch. Having made over 500 rescues in his career, Mish is beloved by the community, to the annoyance of local B-cop Garner Ellaby and Mitch Superior, Captain Thorpe, during one of his morning patrols, Mishja discovers a small pouch of drugs washed up near the Huntley Club, which is now under the ownership of businesswoman Victoria Leeds. At the upcoming tryouts for new lifeguards, three people stand out, Sir for Summer Quinn, an old friend of Holden's, Ronnie, a chubby nerd with a crush on CJ and Matt Brody, a former Olympic swimmer who fell from grace after vomiting during a race and now has to perform community service as a part of an unspecified plea deal. Quinn and Ronnie both pass the trials, but Brody refuses to do so, and insists that his celebrity alone entitles him to a place on the team. Despite Brody demonstrating his abilities by assisting in the rescue of a drowning woman, and her son, Mish complains to Thorpe that he is unfit. Thorpe, in turn, insists that rehabilitating his image is necessary to convince the city not to further cut Baywatch funding. As Brody begins his training under Mitch, it becomes clear that he is developing a crush on Quinn. The team is called into action when a private yacht catches fire, during which Brody disobeys orders and dives directly under the flames, causing him to nearly drown before Holden and CJ save him. Most of the boat's occupants are saved, with the exception of a deceased man identified as a city official. When Mitch tries to investigate his body, Ellaby shows up and informs him that he is not a cop, and has no business trying to solve a crime. Brody makes it clear that he agrees, which causes a rift between him and the other lifeguards who support Mitch. At a party held by Leeds, Brody botches his role as lookout by getting drunk. Mish retaliates by humiliating him in front of the crowd. Brody, who is effectively broke and homeless because of his poor life choices, goes to him the next morning and begs for a second chance. Mitch agrees and takes him and Quinn to infiltrate the city morgue, where they record two of Lee's men planting a falsified autopsy report to cover up the fact that the councilman was murdered on her orders. Unfortunately, they have discovered, and though Mitch manages to subdue and capture one of them, the recording is destroyed, and Ellaby is forced to release their suspect on a lack of evidence. Angered, Thorpe threatens to fire Mitch if he oversteps his authority again. Convinced that Leeds is running drugs out of the Huntley, Mitch and Brody go undercover and sneak into the club kitchen, where they witness her workers retrieving the drugs from barrels of fish and processing them. They contact Alibi, only to learn that another body has been found on the beach. Thorpe, enraged that Mitch essentially deserted his post, fires him and names Brody as the new lieutenant. Brody accepts the job reluctantly, and Mitch takes a job as a cell phone salesman. After finding another pouch of drugs on the beach, Brody steals the second victim's report from Ellaby and brings it to Quinn, who confirms his suspicion that the man was murdered. Ronnie, upon recognizing the victim as his friend Dave, helps Brody hack into Leeds' servers, 
revealing her plan to privatize the entire beach by systematically buying out or eliminating every competing business owner. The team infiltrates a private party on Leeds personal yacht, discovering how SHES been using the hull to smuggle the drugs. Brody is captured and placed in a bait cage to be drowned, and a gloating Leeds reveals that she bribed the corrupt Thorpe to set Mitch up so he could justify firing him before pushing the cage into the water. Just before Brody drowns, Mitch appears and saves him. The two catch up to Leeds, while Ronnie and CJ use fireworks to prevent her escape helicopter from landing. Just as they run out, a wounded Mitch, having intentionally stung himself with a sea urchin to boost his adrenaline, uses a Roman candle to blow Leeds up, saving Brody once again. Ellaby arrives and takes Thorpe into custody, apologizing to Mitch for doubting him. In the aftermath, Ronnie and Brody begin relationships with CJ and Quinn respectively. Mish formally inducts Quinn, Ronnie, and Brody into Baywatch and introduces them to their new captain. Cast Dwayne Johnson as Mitch Butchan and Zac Efron as Matt Brody Alexander Daddario as Summer Quinn Kelly Rohrbach as C.J. Parker Priyanka Chopra as Victoria Leeds John Bass as Ronnie Ilfanesh Hadira as Stephanie Holden Yahya Abdul Mateen II as Garner L.B. Rob Hubel as Don Thorpe Hannibal Buress as Dave the Tech Belinda as Carmen Jack Kezzy as Leon Amin Joseph as Frankie Isabel Goulet as Amber Charlotte McKinney as Julia Ariane Foster as himself Seth Gordon as helicopter pilot David Hasselhoff as Mitch Pamela Anderson as Casey Jean Parker Production In September 2012, it was announced that Reno 911, co-creator and star Robert Ben Garrett would direct a film version of Baywatch for Paramount Pictures. On October 2, 2014, Dwayne Johnson was attached to star in the lead role, and Justin Malin was set to rewrite the script. On July 23, 2015, Seth Gordon was set to direct the film instead, which Johnson would produce with Danny Garcia through Seven Bucks Productions alongside the Montecito Picture Company and Bo Flynn, Damian Shannon, and Mark Swift wrote the latest draft, and the film would be comedic in style. On August 10, 2015, Zac Efron signed on to star in the film, and Bo Flynn and Ivan Reitman joined to produce with Johnson Seven Bucks Productions. On November 9, 2015, Deadline reported that seven actresses were among the shortlist testing for the lead female role. Alexandra Daddario, Ashley Benson, Nina Dobrov, Alexandra Ship, Shelley Hennig, Bianca A. Santos, and Denise Tonts. On November 18, 2015, Johnson confirmed Daddario would play Summer, a lifeguard, and the love interest of Efren's character. On January 4, 2016, Kelly Rohrbach's casting as a CJ. Parker was confirmed by Johnson's Instagram post. Damian Shannon and Mark Swift wrote the screenplay, while the final list of producers were Johnson along with his partner Danny Garcia. Through their Seven Bucks productions, as well as Flynn, Reitman, Michael Burke, Douglas Schwartz, and Gregory J. Bonan. On January 20, 2016, Johnson again posted on his Instagram about casting Ilfanesh Hadera as Johnson's love interest. On January 27, 2016, John Bass was cast in the film to play Ronnie, a funny, awkward, and skilled disco dancer at the beach, who falls in love with Parker. On February 12, 2016, Hannibal Buress joined the cast of the film to play a Bay Community local. On February 17, 2016, Priyanka Chopra signed on to star as the antagonist in the film. The role was originally written for a male. In March 2016, Yahya Abdul-Mateen II joined the cast as a Libby, 
a police officer who is constantly reminding Mitch that he has no real authority over the bay. On March 12, 2016, after several weeks of speculation, singer Belinda confirmed she would join the cast. Jack Kesey and Armin Joseph were also cast in the film. Vine star Logan Paul announced that he is in the film, but his scenes were later cut. Isabel Goulet also appeared. Filming Principal photography on the film began on February 22, 2016, in Deerfield Beach, Florida, with the setting in Broad County, Florida, while the TV series was set in Malibu, California. The film was shot in Miami and Savannah, Georgia, in late March 2016. Filming started in Tybee Island, Georgia. Release in January 2016, Paramount Pictures scheduled Baywatch for a May 19, 2017 release, which was previously set for a Terminator Genesis sequel. In December 2016, Paramount pushed the release date back one week to May 26, 2017, to avoid competition with Alien Covenant. In April 2017, the film was moved one day earlier to avoid direct competition with Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Box Office Baywatch has grossed $45.6 million in the United States and Canada, and $35 million in other territories, for a worldwide total of $80.6 million, against a production budget of $69 million. In the United States and Canada, the film was initially projected to gross around $40 million from 3,642 theaters over its five-day opening weekend, with the studio predicting a more conservative $30 million debut. It made $1.25 million at 2,554 theaters from Wednesday night previews. Similar to fellow midweek R-rated releases were The Millers and Let's Be Cops. However, after making $4.5 million on its opening day and $5.7 million on Friday, five-day projections were lowered to $25 million. It ended up grossing $18.1 million in its opening weekend, finishing third. At the box office, behind Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales and Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2. In its second weekend the film grossed $8.5 million, finishing fifth. At the box office. Critical Response on review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes, the film has an approval rating of 20% based on 167 reviews, and an average rating of 4.2 tenths. The site's critical consensus reads, Baywatch takes its source material's jiggle factor to R-rated levels, but lacks the original's campy charm, and leaves its charming stars flailing in the shallows. On Metacritic the film has a score of 38 out of 100, based on 46 critics, indicating generally unfavorable reviews. Audiences polled by CinemaScore gave the film an average grade of B+, on an A+, 2F scale. Writing for Rolling Stone, Peter Travers praised the cast while acknowledging his dislike for the film. Travers rated it 2 out of 4 stars and said, Think of yourself sitting down for a big two-hour wallow in instant stupid with a vat of popcorn, slathered in fake butter and possibly a mound of melted M&Ms on top. It feels great chugging it down, then your stomach hurts, your head aches, and you puke the whole thing up so you can forget about it in the morning. That's Baywatch in a nutshell. Richard Roper of the Chicago Sun-Times gave the film 1.5 out of four stars, writing, as was the case with Chips, The Dukes of Hazard, The Beverly Hillbillies, Car 54, Where Are You, and I'll Just Stop There, when you make films from junk TV. More often than not you're going to wind up with a junk movie.
potential sequel. In May 2017, prior to the film's release, producer Bo Flint said plans for a sequel were already being discussed with Johnson, Efron, and screenwriters Damian Shannon and Mark Swift all returning. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.